Hi. Hello there. I've almost finished this and I thought it might be an interesting thing to um, just record a little bit of it. Um, I'm writing an article on the artist uh, for the artist and illustrator magazine on looking up and I was trying to figure out a way of um, finding uh, of painting myself looking up and so I've balanced a couple of mirrors here one against the wall and one on my knees and somehow I'm able to see myself now upside down but as though I'm looking up and so I'm drawing this upside down face it's actually worked out very nicely for me because I don't have to move my head or anything to see the angle that I'm um, looking at myself just introducing a darker brown now to establish some of the more some of the darker bits I, mean, I can actually see two images of myself down there one on the, in this mirror that's um, kind of looking up as well they're both the same really anyway I'm looking at this one that's closest to me um, to my paper it's not actually closest forget all that <laughs> Anyway, I'm just drawing myself upside down. Somehow the, way the mirrors are working for me. I can't really figure it out. But um, so what I'm doing now is just establishing the general areas of, of dark tone. I think there's a book called, yeah, Drawing on the Right Side of the Brain. I forget the author now, I'm sorry. But uh, as far as I know, there's an exercise in that where you're to draw something upside down. You've got a photograph of the thing beside you. Turning it upside down means that you tend to... I think the idea is that you believe your eyes more when the image is uh, is upside down, is how you would not normally see it. And so uh, I'm finding that this is maybe the case here. I'm actually really feeling like I'm scrutinizing rather than... Uh, I, there's a new curiosity about this process because I'm really, I'm really looking, really measuring, kind of finding, okay, what's across from the bottom of the ear, uh, rather than assuming. And in any case, the, the the looking up, you know, when you're looking up, your eyes, your ears are level with your, they're, in this case, the ears are below the below my mouth. Well below my mouth, the top of the ears may be more level with the line dividing the lips than the bottom is, and um, and that would be the case if I was looking, you know, drawing myself with my chin up. Anyway, but it, it is this is a lot easier to be able to see my face without having to go up and down all the time. Mm -hmm. Now I know you can see nothing, only the, only the drawing, so it's maybe not that satisfying a video, but I just wanted to let you in on this because it was feeling a bit exciting to me. Now, if you were tuned into the drawing of the cyclamen that I did earlier today, about half an hour ago, you'll know that um, I had a job that I wanted to do that wasn't so attractive to me, but that I was determined to do. And... Uh, I've sacrificed that job now for this process. Just for a while. You can keep tabs on me. I'll get the job done. But in a way, uh, I'm I'm not going to give out to myself for that because I feel like... Actually, this is also in support of the article that I'm writing about looking up. So it's an adult job I'm doing just now. But it isn't the one I said I would do. There is something about that, isn't there? The discipline of actually doing the thing you say you will do, rather than doing something else. Equally noble, even. If I say I'm going to do something, really. And I suppose the most important person to keep those promises to is the is the being you're living in. I don't know. Anyway, I'm giving myself a hard time now, which isn't really the best thing for me. There we are. Second arrow, third arrow, fourth arrow. <laughs> So uh, I'm allowing myself to do this and I'm accepting that this is what I'm doing, is this drawing and that I'll get on to the task that I said I would do after this drawing. Although, now that I've discovered this, and you know it's good to act on inspiration, um, I would say that generally when inspiration hits it's actually a real gift and I wouldn't deny that as long as no one's going to die, you know. And it's just form filling that I'm putting off. A little bit of form filling, which isn't a big deal. And um, if that's the case, I would say honour the honour the inspiration, honour the moment of inspiration, and go with that. What am I talking about now? I was going to say, oh yeah, because after this, you see, I was thinking I might actually do a watercolour version. 
and take photographs of it so it's like a step-by-step -step exercise that people reading the article could try for themselves I think I like the idea of that right what am I going to do now it's the dark there so when I half close my eyes yeah maybe I'll use the lighter brown to do some bit of a shadow even on the forehead although it's generally in the light there's a little bit of a bump here but the cortex, the frontal cortex or anything. Like and the bump in my forehead is what I'm talking about. And there's a bit of more shadow here. And there's a little bit of a dip in here too, I think, on that side. Quite a bit of shading down there, but I'm not sure I want that to be so brought into the limelight. I just want the underneath the chin to read as though it's underneath the chin rather than anything demanding of too much attention. So that's where the where the face stops the neck starts. I suppose it does need to be definition there. I'm gonna have numb numb legs when I stand up. These are drawings I've been doing on my knee. I've been at it for a wee while now too, so I'll probably be staggering around for half an hour after this. Not half an hour, a few minutes. Right. And Gloria Gaynor is still in my head. I will survive. Ominous. I'd say I might be done with this. I'm kind of ex excited to try it in colour. And for the colour version, I might do the head that's closer to me. And this, there's a head in this mirror that I'm seeing, and there's a head in that mirror over there. And the one I've done just now is the one in the mirror over there. For the next one, where I'm doing the watercolour, I think I'll do the, mirror, uh, the the head that's closest to me here. I don't know if this is going to read as being too long because I'm drawing it facing away from myself. But it's handy too because I can lift it up every so often and see it in the mirror. Yeah, it does look like it's quite long and lopsided. <laughs> One side of my face looks like it's hanging down. But that's alright. I think maybe it kind of does anyway. A bit of a tilt in my head too today. I think maybe this can come up slightly here. Just to bring a little bit more symmetry and possibly that can come down a touch. It's a good fun thing to try though. And I suppose I could add a bit of hair on this side too so that the lopsidedness balanced a wee bit. I'm going to have a studio sale, maybe a Facebook studio sale, before Christmas. I usually do something like that. I've lost lost the kind of desire to to put work into galleries so much. To be honest, I just there's a kind of can't be botheredness about it. The framing, the delivery, all of that stuff. And I mean, I've I've had you know support from lots of lovely galleries, but I just feel like. Nah, can't be bothered. Now having said that, I've got a lot of framed work that I need to, um, that I want to move on. I want it to end up on someone else's wall. And uh, so I suppose those ones would be a collection only. But the thing I could do is if, um, if folk wanted to buy them, I could just take them out of the frames and post them wherever as well. So stay tuned, I'll Keep um, I'll keep you informed in these videos of when the Facebook sale is going to happen, because my plan is to hopefully continue doing videos every day, and uh, so I'll be able to let you know that way. The other way I'll let you know is through the newsletter. So if you want to subscribe to that, let me know. It's an email. 
every three or four weeks or five or six weeks depending on the form mm, my shoulders are getting a little bit sore now and I think maybe I need to stop I think maybe I need to stop guys thanks for watching I don't know maybe just leave it that way there I am am I kind of <sighs> an unusual exercise slightly wonky but interesting at the same time so oh just fell down thank you nice to see you maybe there'll be a watercolour version of this I'm not sure. Can you see me there? Yeah. There might be a watercolour version of it. Let's see how I get on with that. Alright, all the best. Bye.